Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss this problem called minimum score of a path between two cities. So the problem says that we will be given with an undirected graph which is weighted in nature having n nodes numbered from 1 to n. And we have to find out the minimum score uh, of a path present between node 1 and node n, right? So let's see what uh, they mean meant by uh, minimum score of a path. So let's say we are given with this uh, graph 1, 2, 3, let's say 4 and let's say this is also connected 5 okay so now the weights of uh, we can assume the weights of this as 5 6 7 8 and 9 okay so now we have to find out the minimum score between any path between 1 to 5 so like one path is from here to here so if we consider this path 1 to 2 2 to 4 then 4 to 5 so the weight of 1 to 2 edge is 5 then it's 7 then it's 9 so the score of this path is 5 which is the minimum weight in entire edges which we are using in this particular path. So 5 will be the minimum score right. Now if we just consider this second path then this path will be 1 to 6 then 6 to 3 oh sorry 1 to 3 then 3 to 4 then 4 to 5 right. So the uh, weight of this edge is 6 then the weight of this edge is 8 then the weight of this edge is 9. So the score of this path will be 6 right and we have to find out the minimum score of any path between 1 to n so the minimum score will be 5 not 6 so in this case 5 will be the answer right okay so this is the problem statement and problem statement also says that we can consider the same edge multiple times in our particular path right okay now if we have uh, one more node here let's say like we have 6 here let's say we want we have 6 here and let's say we have one uh, more node 5 here right and uh, the weight of this is 2 now we want to reach from 1 to 6 so here we will not have 5 we will have 6 right and from here we will also have uh, 6 not 5 okay but the weight will remain same but so we considered this path we considered this path right now because we can consider same as multiple times can we start traversing here then we can go back here and we can reach here like I'll just uh, write the uh, path 1 2 3 then 3 2 5 then 5 to 3 again we'll come back then from 3 we'll go 4 then from 4 we'll go to 6 right so the edge uh, so the weight between this uh, edge from 1 to 3 is 6 then this weight is 2 then again this weight is 2 then this weight is 8 then this weight is 9 now the minimum uh, weight of any edge in this path is 2 so the score of this path will be 2 right so from this can we say in a generic case we can always start from node 1 and we can always visit the edge with minimum weight and then we can come back to 1 and from 1 we can go to n right because the number of nodes does not matter we just need to minimize the score and score is dependent on the weight of the edges. So we will consider uh, we will always try to consider the edge with minimum weight right. So if we are given with this graph we can uh, simply say that the minimum edge uh, edge with the minimum weight will be the answer or we can say minimum score okay okay now what if we have uh, like multiple components because question says that we can have multiple components so if we have let's say uh, one more component let's say uh, now let's say we have this thing as 8 then 6 7 and 8 is present here and they are connected to each other and let's say the score uh, like weight of these edges is 1 1 right so in this case we can't say that uh, minimum weight edge is the answer but we can say for one thing for sure that in this component in this component the minimum weight will be the answer right if we have multiple components then we can just consider the component which is having one right and we can find out the minimum edge in that minimum weight of a edge in that component and then that, that will be the answer okay so let me just write a pseudo code for this problem like uh, the code will not be huge so what we can do is first we can create our adjacency list right first we can generate our adjacency list okay after that what we want is we want to traverse the component having one right so we can run a dfs dfs starting from uh, one and we can also have a visited array and everything okay and while traversing this uh, uh, this component we can find out the minimum edge value or edge weight right and we can return that thing and that will be our simply answer 
so we can even simply return that thing right now you can try to implement the dfs function on your own and uh, we will provide the sol complete solution in the description and if you are stuck somewhere you can comment down below and that's all for this video so i'll see you in the next one